How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. We have uh, all the system done. Check for leaks. It's been setting for days with 30 pounds in it and never leaked any uh, uh, air off the system. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting everything filled up. We have our line hooked in and we do have a one-way valve here. So only water can go into the system. Can't go back into our drinking water. Uh, I have the air separator up here. I just opened the valve on the top and all we have to do is start feeding the water in. So all I got to do here is just turn it on, let it fill up, and as it's filling up, air is seeping out of the top of this valve. I don't know if you can hear it, but I have to be real careful because that's the only way I know when there's water coming out when it gets to the top of there. So I'm going to stand right here, turn it on low, and let it feel slowly. That way when I see a little bit of water come out of the top, I'll know to stop. So it's going to take me just a little bit to get it filled up. I'll get you guys back in here as soon as I get it filled up. Okay, what I did, uh, I took a piece of rubber hose stuck on the top of this air valve and put it in the water bottle. So I can tell when it gets full, water is going to come out of there and start going into that bottle. It's a little easier than just letting it go everywhere. Eventually, what I'll do is I'll get a bigger, a longer hose and get it to where I can put it down on the floor into the drain. That way, anytime I go to fill this thing up, I just hook the hose up and put it into the drain and when it starts coming out the hole, then we know we're full. So we're going to get this filled up. Okay, our system is all uh, filled up with uh, water. Uh, the little valve worked up there great. As soon as the air, you know, the water got up there, it shut the air down. On its own, I didn't have to worry about the bottle. We've got about uh, 24 pounds of pressure in there. I'm going to go kick the pump on and let you hear the pump. The pump is a lot quieter than it was when we had it. Like, we just turned it on with that just for a couple seconds. With no, with no water in there, it was pretty loud. I was hoping it wasn't going to be that loud, so I'll turn it on and let you hear it. I mean, it does have a little bit of a sound to it, but nothing like it did. It's actually fairly quiet. Uh, once you got the water in there and got it all circulated, I've been, I let it circulate for maybe a half hour, 45 minutes to try to get a bunch of the air bubbles out and then I broke that uh, bleeder up on the top, some air come out of it. So we're going to let it run for another half hour or so to try to circulate anything out of it while we're hooking up the wire to get, to get it to heat. we got to hook the wire into it. See Kevin's got a new friend here. We're dog sitting. So I got the uh, tank all hooked up, everything's hooked up and wired in. I used conduit all the way over and up into the box. And then uh, I went ahead and plugged the hot water tank in, let it heat up. Then I'm watching the gauge up here. And as you can see, I'm just a little cooler than 90 degrees right now, but the pump is off and we're at 65 pounds on that pressure about 65 pounds right now now i'm not sure if that tank is all the way heated up or not but it did not take long i turned the pump on and circulated it one time for maybe a minute and this pipe over here, the cold return is, it's, it's nice, it's warm. It's definitely warm. Uh, the, where it comes out, that's, that's pretty hot right there. But uh, warm on this side. So our lines, our return lines are just a little bit warm. This is just a wee little bit warm here. Now the valve and everything is pretty warm. And that's pretty warm there. So we know that it's gonna work. We just don't know how far that gauge is gonna go up. I keep watching it and it's, I can set it right here. I keep setting it. Each time it goes up, I reset it. We're at about 65 pounds right now. 
Now I know this tank says working pressure 75. So it's pre-charge pressure at 12 PSI. It says working pressure 75. So uh, I'm gonna lean around here a little bit. Uh, we're running it almost, uh, that is still almost, as you can see right here, this one here is telling me it's almost 100 degrees. This water in this line right now is almost 100 degrees. I'm gonna go kick it on and see if that temperature one goes up. Maybe I can see how many, how much, how, much, how hot that water is. Let's go out here and kick the pump on. I really didn't want to heat it up. It was 95 degrees today. It's 95 outside and it's 70 in here. Now once we got all the air bled out of this system, let's see, didn't kick on yet. Once we got all the air bled out of it, there it is. This thing is super quiet now. You can hear it running. It just sounds like a refrigerator running, a pump on a refrigerator. So we're gonna watch that gauge up there on the bottom. See if it'll go up. Yeah, I didn't want to heat the house. But I got an inspection coming up and this all has to work, so we have to do what we got to do to see if it works. I like to feel this cold, the return, to see how hot it gets, because that's what we're wanting. We want this water to be hot. We already know this is going to be hot. Oh yeah, that's real hot. And that's real hot. So we're going to look and see if this gauge goes up in there. So I'm gonna let it run for about a minute or so, and then we're gonna see if that goes up any. We're staying at 65 pounds right now. The top gauge is the pounds. So we're staying about 65 on that. It's scary you, uh, when you first uh, put this thing together because I, I don't know how many pounds is supposed to be in that thing. I had 40 pounds in it earlier with just water pressure and then uh, when we turned the hot water on we gained 25 pounds while that tank was heating up. I'm gonna... This is hot. That's the cold water return. This is hot. That's the hot water out. This is a lot thinner pipe right here than the copper. Now the copper is warm, but it's not as warm as this piece here. This feels like it actually cooled down a little bit for some reason. It was warm. Now it feels like it cooled down. I need to figure out more, do a little bit more research on this because I'm not sure how that works. Now that just cooled off. figure some things out here. Now we're above 100 degrees now. We're above 100. So we'll see here. I'll get you guys back in here in a couple minutes see if there's any changes. Okay now uh, after it's been running the temperature has went up. You can see the temperature went up but the um, poundage went down. 
So it's cooling down. What's happening is all the water that's in the floor, it's cooling down and it's cooling down the system. See, I think this, when I first had this on, this is something I need to learn. That's that mixing valve. I need to learn this mixing valve to make sure I'm using it correctly. So that's something in the future I'll be doing another video on. But right now this water is still cold coming in this side. It feels cold. Uh, I had that opened all the way up and this was all hot. So I think what happened was it was back feeding hot water into this. So now all the water is going down and going into there. This is really hot. So it's good and hot. So we're, we're okay there. So we know we're getting hot water into the floors. This is all hot down in here. Even those lines are hot. I'm waiting for these lines to get warm. The return lines. Once they get warm, we know that we had warmed up the system. Pounds are still going down and the temperature is still going up. Okay, I think I'm about done. I went ahead and turned the hot water tank off because we do not want the heat in here. We just want to make sure it's circulating, it's going to do its job. And these pipes are getting warm just a little bit. I shut this thing down so it's not actually sending this water through that valve yet. I just wanted to circulate through the system to see if these warm up. And they're starting to warm up. They're not as cold as they were. <clears throat> so I shut the hot water tank down. As you can see as it circulates, it's losing more pressure. Because the heat's going down. And we was up to about 65 pounds of pressure. And the temperature is still mm, about, one, one, uh, about 100 degrees, somewhere around there right around 100 degrees, maybe a little more in 100. So we're gonna let it run for a little bit, let it cool that water back off, and uh, we're gonna leave it alone. I think it's ready for winter. Uh, we just gotta get the inspection done. Once the inspection's done, then we'll, we'll see how the inspection goes. So that's my hot water floor heat. Hopefully this thing uh, does a good job this winter. It's not taking much to keep the place cool, so it shouldn't take much to keep it warm.